Good morning everyone, it is Friday, and you know, I feel a sense of excitement building. It's got nothing to do with the Fed. Janet put her to sleep yesterday, but I got this feeling that some of these tech stocks, the ones that we follow most closely, call them Google, uh, Netflix, uh, Priceline, uh, Tesla, you know, there's quite a long list. It's just like the 1990s, isn't it? They're going straight up. It's not the same as the dot-com bubble. I'm not predicting some kind of crash, certainly not. I'm saying the same level of excitement is there. You can feel it. This is not your normal business news, is it? We're not talking about the state of the economy, fourth quarter growth of GDP. We're not talking about the Federal Reserve. No, we're talking about that genuine excitement that people really feel when their stocks are going straight up. It is exciting, and we are on it. By the way, thank you very much indeed for following us to the new time slot. We really appreciate that. Our numbers are terrific. I know you're watching, and we're very grateful. Thank you very much indeed. I think you like what we're putting out for you. One more point. Today, I think we should right. demand that it's Harry Reid apologize. <laughs> I mean, right. get right out there, Senator, and apologize, please. You just called thousands of people liars. They're victims of Obamacare, and you, under the protection of the Senate floor, called them liars. Sir, that's disgraceful. More on this. What would it be now? It's uh, just after 7 o'clock Eastern time, about 3 hours and 50 minutes from now. I know you'll be there. See you later.